everybody. I am Elizabeth and welcome back to The Kilby Life. I have a friend here with me tonight and we are going to talk about accountability. Before we get into that, I just wanted to say thank you to Element for sponsoring this video. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink with all the things you want and none of the junk. There's no artificial dyes. There's no fillers in there so you can feel really good about drinking these no matter what diet you're on. These contain in each packet 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. This is their new chocolate medley. It has a raspberry chocolate, a chai chocolate, and a mint chocolate, and they are delicious hot. If you use our link that's going to be on the bottom of the screen to order, it's drinkelement.com, which is D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash Kilby. They will send you one of these free sample packs with any order. It is a great way to try a bunch of flavors, and then you can order more of whatever you like. So don't forget, if you've never tried them before, give it a try. And even if you have any customer, any order, we'll get a free sample pack. So go ahead and use that link every time you order and get that sample pack. All right, I'm going to bring in my friend Nellie from the channel Nellie Needs Meat. She is here today to talk to you with me about accountability and kind of how we have approached accountability while we are changing the way we're eating. Um, she's walked through both of my carnivore challenges and elimination diet with me. And so welcome. Thank you. It's good to be here. It's good to have you here. <laughs> we were just talking. We met, what, a year ago now almost? It's Met almost been a year. The internet. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the our, internet our true, yeah, I I think I'm like our true friend anniversary is in February, so it's almost a year. It's coming. Oh my goodness, that is coming fast. Awesome. And I feel like we just like jumped right in. We're like, all right, yeah. nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Let me tell you all my stuff. So. All right. So tell me all about it. <laughs> that was it. Yep. I'm glad yep. you didn't end up being a crazy person. That was Red rum. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Likewise. Likewise. I don't know about Aaron, but yeah, you're you're good. <laughs> oh, look what I just found. Oh, it's a dead pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we met because you had been watching the channel. Mm -hmm. And we had been doing, Aaron and I were doing a live. So what happened was um, I had been in uh, the chat for a couple of their lives. And um, this one in particular, I just kept, I was feeling particularly sassy that night. And I just kept posting like, you know, stupid little comments. And Elizabeth kept reading them out loud. And Aaron's like, oh, what's that? Is she your new best friend? And I'm like, that's right. We're besties. BFFs, remember? Best friends forever. I started actually praying about it because I'm like, Lord, Oh, well here, Aaron had also said, he's like, my wife needs some friends. And I'm like, me, I'll be your friend. Me, choose me. So, me. so I started praying about it, that if God would open the door, that um, her and I could be friends. And I, I wasn't stalking at all. Stalker. I just happened to come across them on Instagram because I was on Instagram mm -hmm. and um, we started messaging back and forth and then we exchanged numbers and just been chit chatting since. Um, I actually remember we were sitting out here. I think when I got the first message from you on Instagram, I was like, Hey, Aaron, what do I do? <laughs> it was like, this whole thing was very <laughs> new to us at that point. Yeah. I don't know what to do with my hands. What do I normally do with my hands? And we would, we didn't have that many people reaching out yet. And so it was good. Like, I'm glad you got in there before, like it got a little bit bigger and got a little bit crazier. Cause mm -hmm. now there's like, yeah. you know way more people that respond to things. And so I'm glad that I'm glad it didn't get lost in that shuffle. Yeah. Yep. Me too. Yeah. And we've kind of since abandoned the Instagram because we can't keep up with all yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Except when we're sending her each other stupid stuff. <laughs> stupid is stupid does, sir. We started talking and we have really used each other, I think, a lot as accountability partners, especially when it comes to dieting. I mean, some other things in life, too, but specifically yeah. with dieting. Um, mm -hmm. And we I can't even remember how long it was into that, that we started um, sending basically what we were eating every day back and yeah. forth. So she would send me a screenshot of her like list of food that she was eating every day. And I would send one to her um, both for our own 
kind of awareness of what are we eating yeah. and how is it making us feel and stuff like that. But then also just have somebody else that can say, Hey, it looks like you're not eating very much or that is a ton of food. just having that ability to have somebody else kind of on board and looking at it too. You yeah. know, if I had a yeah. day where I'm like, wow, I feel really sluggish. And you, you know, you've sent me messages like, well, you barely ate anything. So maybe mm-hmm. that had something to do with it. Why are you flying so slow? It's kind of funny because before I was sending it to you, like I, I've been writing down what I eat for a very long time. Mm-hmm. Um, Back in the day, it's like I, everything was calorie counting. But then um, when I switched to keto and then I gave up the, I stopped worrying about the macros and stuff, I was still writing everything down. And I had a group that I was posting it to, but I felt at one point that it just wasn't helping them at all. So I just stopped and I was keeping it to myself. And it, the thing is you keep it to yourself and, you know, things creep in. Creepy. Mm-hmm. And you just, you start making excuses for things and whatever. And then when you and I had started talking and then I put that idea out there, I was like, oh, good. Someone else that I can just it made me feel better. It's like I can send this to her and it makes you stop for a second. It's like, well, before you eat that thing, Elizabeth is going to see it. (laughs) So maybe just stop and think for a second, because we're trying to set a good example for each other, too. But Mm -hmm. we're also even if the other one has something that, you know, we know we shouldn't have, you know, there's no. I'm never shaking my finger at Elizabeth. She's never shaking her finger at me. It's like, you know what? You'll be fine. You'll, you learned your lesson. You know, you're not going to do that again. Are you calling me an idiot? Or maybe you will. And then you'll regret (laughs) it again. But you know, I love you anyway. You're fine. So yeah. I think it's good good too. Cause you're right. The whole finger wagging thing does not go over well in my world where it's like, okay, well, if you're just going to yell at me, I can yell at myself. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm good at making myself feel bad. <laughs> right? But that encouragement of, you know, what could we have done different? Is there a better choice that could have been made? Or, wow, it looks like you were really craving sweets or whatever it was. Have you considered trying this? You know, and so yeah. that encouragement to do it better instead of just, oh, my goodness, you ate that? Which I think... Yeah. I'm not in a lot of online forums and stuff, but I feel like that's kind of the response you get a lot of times. Oh yeah. The food police are in full force. And I actually don't think it matters what group you belong in. I think um, everyone wants to police something. So uh, in the carnivore groups, I will often see someone say, well, that's not carnivore. It's like, that's okay by me. I didn't say I was carnivore. So (laughs) that's, that's okay. Yeah. It's so, it's so frustrating to feel like you don't have a place or even a safe place to say, you know what, I am really craving whatever it is without being told that you're a failure or, well, clearly you have some major issue that you need to overcome. Like, you know, I don't think that's helpful either. I mean, sometimes a good swift kick in the pants is necessary, but overall, it seems like being able to say to somebody, I can see you're struggling with this here are some ideas instead of just, wow, you're really messing up. Yeah. Something's wrong with you. Yeah. Right. Something's wrong with all of us. (laughs) Exactly. We can't escape that one. (laughs) Yeah. For us, it's worked out really well. And I feel like we have gotten to a place where there's a lot, there's just a lot of honesty where we're not, like you're saying, we're not trying to hide stuff. We're not, making a big deal out of the small things. But I know for a lot of people, that is really hard to find, especially, you know, I am thankful Aaron is doing carnivore. And so he is accountability in some ways too, but he's smart enough not to be like, what are you doing all the time? You know, and I know that your husband is supportive of the way you're eating. And so we are very fortunate in that setup. But I think a lot of people especially if they don't have that at home are looking for that community and that person that's going to encourage them and walk alongside them in it. One of the things I think too is really great about the back and forth accountability that um, Elizabeth and I have is that there will be some days when it's like I just said this morning, I'm like, um, you know, I've got a bit of a headache. I I think I'm going to have another cup of coffee. Now Elizabeth doesn't say anything. It's like just I feel like she kind of waits and sees, is she actually going to have the cup of coffee? Cause I, if I do, I'm going to, I might have a stomach ache from that because I'm just too full. 
But the thing is, me putting it out there and talking to her about it actually relieves some of the thinking where I'm like, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? And then as soon as I give it to Elizabeth and say, this is what I'm thinking about, then I'm kind of done with it. Waffles. Uh, okay, I, I can move on. And I mean, she's done the same thing to me where, you know, she might be having a tough time and she's like, I really just want to have this thing right here. And later she'll come back to me and she's like, well, I didn't have it. I was kind of grumpy about it. It is fine because <laughs> I had this thing instead. So it's, it's, I feel like being able to speak it out yeah. to someone other than just letting it rolling around in your head. Yeah. I feel like as long as it's rolling around, you are going to find a reason to do it. Right. Whereas if you just tell someone about it, that, right. yeah, you got it out. Yum, yum, trash. I want to eat trash. I'm just going to admit it. I had some ice cream the other day, which you know about, because I think I told you about that. Yeah. But just yeah. being able to say, I'm going to do this. I know mm -hmm. that it's not going to be an every night thing. So I'm telling right. you, but like, yes. if you see that this is a pattern that I started falling into, like, call me on it. Yeah. But it was yeah. a one off, like random thing. But knowing that I don't have to hide from that. Yeah. But also, you're not going to let me get away with it every day either. You know? We're gonna be like, no, if I saw it becoming a pattern, yeah, I'd be like, did. <laughs> Elizabeth, how are you feeling? How, are you feeling okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel horrible, but I'm yeah. all right. No, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I think, I think there's beauty in that too. And even, the ability to notice patterns that maybe the other one doesn't see. Cause like we're so up close with our own stuff, you know, yeah. but then being able to see, you know, in your stuff, are you looking at my list of things and saying, Oh, like, you know, have you noticed mm -hmm. this pattern? You know, and I, yeah. I think that's super valuable. Yeah. I was going to say too, there's been a few times where Elizabeth's like, you didn't eat a lot today. Yeah. What, you know, what's, what's going on. And I'm like, it's, it's often my stomach. It's, I can't do anything about it. You know, um, I, it's usually because of either hormones or you can't handle the truth. <laughs> too much activity will bring on a stomach ache. So, but she knows and she'll be, are you okay? And it's like, yep. I'm, I'm glad to have her checking in. Yeah. And it's nice to know that somebody knows. And I laughing too, because on yours, you often put the regular, it's like, it's nice to have people <laughs> that we can be like, I just had the regular today. You know what that yeah. means? It's yep, great. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> now, I was telling you earlier, um, for a while, and I stopped sending my list to you because mm -hmm. I felt like um, food was just getting way too much attention in my life. I was struggling with being mature about it a little bit, if we're being honest. Um, <laughs> and just, again, that feeling of I should get to eat what I want because I'm mm -hmm. an adult. And so while I wasn't like, I'm throwing everything out, making bad choices, it's like I needed, I needed space where it wasn't getting the time and attention. My food was just food. It wasn't something that I was tracking and paying attention of. And I remember being like, I don't know how this is going to go over because like, I understand why I'm doing it, but I'm not sure I can communicate it clearly. And I just right. remember feeling so like, you were just so gracious about it where it's just like, okay, like that's fine. Do you care if I still send you my list? Yeah. <laughs> not at all. But it just, it became something that I was having a really hard time. I just felt like I was spending too much time on food. Like it, it yeah. was becoming too, too much of what I was doing um, and I needed to take a step back. Now, that mm. being said, I feel like I'm at a place now where if I could remember to write down the things I'm eating, it would be beneficial again to see, okay, how am I feeling? How much am I eating? And um, how is that working for me coming back into it? I think this elimination diet starting in October, really just kind of reset a lot of things. Yeah, um, yeah. And so I feel like I'm in a good place again with food where I don't feel like I'm fighting it constantly. First rule of fight club is you don't talk about fight club. Yeah. And I mean, I, I feel like that's an issue with some people too. Um, I was just talking to one of my friends about this the other day where you have people who are coming in and they really have to think of it as only food is fuel. Mm -hmm. because they they have spent so much time obsessing about food and they just want to take a break. So for them, it's like, I don't, I don't want to. And I, I mean, if you've ever listened to um, Kelly Hogan, um, she'll say this kind of thing where it's like, all she wanted to do was just stop thinking about what she was eating. And I, I get it to a degree because coming into this, coming into keto, 
I was sick of it too. I was tired of worrying every single time I went to a party or anytime I went out to eat that it's like, am I going to gain two to three pounds overnight? Probably. And then I'm going to have to spend seven days starving to try to reel it back in right. and I'm back at square one. So I definitely understand, you know, it's like, you just need to, food has to be in its place. Mm-hmm. And then once you can put food in its place, then it's like, you can enjoy it. You can like um, start to reason things through better, I think. And I mean, for that's not for everyone though. For every For some people, it's like, it's always going to just be food is fuel. I don't ever want to worry about it again. There's enough stress in my life. Food is fuel. Once you get to that healthy place with it, then you can start being creative with it again. Um, but until you're there, it just, it just, it almost feels overwhelming where you're like, I'm trying to make the right choices. I don't know if I'm making the right choices. I don't know what, you know, I'm trying to do my best, but is there something better? Yeah. And yeah. all of it feels overwhelming to the point that I'm like, just feed me something. I don't even care anymore. Yeah. You know, but that's, that's not how I want to go through life. Plus I'm still cooking mm-hmm. dinner for eight, eight kids, mm-hmm. you know, and trying to reason through all the same things with the food I'm feeding them where they're not, you know, they're not strictly keto. They're not doing carnivore, but they, we are trying to make healthier choices. And so it's yeah. like, between meal planning for me and them and, you yeah. know, all of the things it's like, it's a lot. It's a lot. A lot, a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, I was going to say too, Elizabeth is one of the people that I'll bounce meal ideas off of. I'll be like, all right, I'm going to make this thing, but it's going to be like this. And I'll be like, what do you think? And she'll be like, do it. So, <laughs> And then send me the recipe if it works. Yes. Yep. Yep. So if you see some really odd stuff, it's because Elizabeth told me to do it. So I'm just saying. So if you don't have a random person you met on the internet to be your accountability friend, where, do, where would you go and look for that? Hello, interweb. So it's, it's tough. There's a few good groups on Facebook where the carnivore police aren't too bad. Um, If you're on Facebook, I would recommend um, there's Carnivore Quest, there's Carnivore Community, there's my page, which is Low Carb Coalition. Um, Yeah, so on Facebook, that that would be a good place. Here's the thing, too. Think about like this. Even if you can't find someone, even if you can't find a group to get into, or let's say you do get in there and you see the police. Cops! 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 See if you can find someone who's like on the same page as you. Because I have another friend that I made who's on the same page. And then there's another girl that I met who's on this. I call him girl. She's like a couple years younger than me, but I know it a couple years younger. She's a girl. Yeah. Um, But (laughs) she's also on the same page and her and I'll check in every once in a while. And it's just been interesting to me. So it's like, they're the ones that get the majority of my thoughts and stuff like that. I will put stuff on the pages and things like that. But my accountability people are people I know who aren't going to be like punching me in the face. I'm not going to have 15 things saying, well, you shouldn't have done it in the first place. Right. So, you know, um, that's a good way. I, I would say that's one of the best ways of being. Yeah. And there's also creating your own YouTube channel and putting your information out there. Even if no one ever watches it, you're getting the thoughts out of your head and out there. So it's like, here's what I had today. And then you're going to double think and say, well, maybe I shouldn't have that because I'm filming today. And not that you're like living a double life in front of the camera. It just stops and makes you think a little bit more about Mm -hmm. what you're eating until that becomes second nature. And it's an all the time thing. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Because I've noticed that too, where not that I do things different when Aaron's filming. I don't, but I am more aware of some of the choices or some of the things we're feeding the kids or whatever else where it's like, Yep, that happened. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's out there. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. interesting. And I think that's really wise in going onto those pages and maybe not looking at those pages for accountability, but seeing if there's specific people that you cool. can develop that sort of relationship with. Yeah. There was one woman in particular. She sent me a message and she said, Can I send you a friend request? Because I've noticed that you're encouraging to other people. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, it's like, I'm like, you can absolutely send me a friend request. That's fine by me. Yeah. So it's it's interesting there. We're looking for, I mean, we don't want to live in an echo chamber, but you also want to weed out 
the negativity, the people who are just right. going to be sitting there shaking their finger at you and saying, you know, you, you know better. You shouldn't have done that. So right, right. I, I do that to myself. And yeah. it's a unique personality that can find that balance of encouragement and real accountability and like, okay, come on. Like we know better than that, but still doing it in a way that's loving. Yes. Yes. Because you truly care about the person. I have friends. I, I know I could go to and say, look, this is something I'm working on. I'm struggling with. Would it be okay if I sent you, you know, whatever daily, weekly. But I think that if they're not, if they're not eating the same way, they're not paying attention to the same things, it won't mean as much. So while they'd be very right, willing right. to let me do that, and that would still provide some accountability, it probably wouldn't right. be the same thing. Right. No, I get it. I, Cause I have friends that are like that too. And it's like, you know, your friends are dear to you. You love them very much, but they might not be walking the same path for right. this thing here, you know? Right. So it is good to have someone walking along with you who's on the same page and, you know, who's trying to do the same thing and possibly has the same struggles too. So yeah. Because then you can get it, you know. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, do you find you you've been doing this for what five years now that you've been not five, yeah, doing low carb? Yeah. Have you found that having those accountability things, especially since it's blown up on Facebook and YouTube and stuff more, have you found that it's been easier to stick with with having that accountability in your life, or you kind of decided this is what I'm going to do regardless and it hasn't changed too much. Yeah. This is actually something I want to make a video about soon is I was, I was ready to do it alone. So right from the beginning, I did not expect my husband to be on board and Mm -hmm. granted my mom was doing low car. I mean, she's the reason why I got started, but, um, I kind of, I kind of like not, I I hate to use the word forced, but I pushed her into Christmas, their mama from the train You stop with to get her diabetes under control. Yeah. So she, she was with me, but she wasn't having the same struggles that I was having. So I had to, um, you know, and, and my husband, I would talk to my husband about the things that I was doing, but I couldn't expect him to understand and give me information or advice on, you know, what, what should I do? Man. I mean, sometimes he was helpful because he's got a slightly different angle, you know, that he's looking at it, but I, I was mentally prepared to do it a hundred percent by myself, mm-hmm. which I needed to do because my kids were eating ice cream in front of me. Um, everyone's still making peanut butter and jellies mm-hmm. and you know what I mean? And so it was, and it was fine. Like I was okay. So I had, I was, I had a good solid three years, three and a half years under my belt mm-hmm. before I went on social media. Yeah. So um, it is nice having the friends and stuff that I've made on social media but that I know for some people that helps them yeah. and I, I don't discount that at all for myself. I didn't need that. And actually the main reason I got on social media was because I wanted to see who I could help because yeah. I started to realize that my way of doing it is a bit different from how everyone else is doing it. It's, it's a little sad. There was a woman on Facebook the one time I had posted a picture of something I made and she said, we're allowed to have spices on carnivore. Oh, I remember you like, talking about that. Yes. I'm like, girl, you can do whatever you want. It, I mean, if you're cutting out carbs, leave them out. But from there, you get to decide how you're yeah. going to do it. Yeah. You get to figure it. And to me, that's that's a good thing. It's You might want to have a jumping off point, mm-hmm. right? But to have someone be such a hard line and say, you can't have coffee. You can't have cream. You can't have cheese. No soup for you. <laughs> No, it's you, you get to decide for yourself. And I, I already had that tucked under my belt when I got on social media. So for me, you know, I'm, I'm like the one person who's like, Hey, psst, I eat three meals a day. You can do it too if you want. It. You know, it's, I'm right. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm that, that little voice off on the side. Who's like, there's another way you can do it. You don't yeah. have to be so hardcore. So. Yeah, because I think there are like the OMAD, like the one meal a day and doing like Aaron's doing the lion diet, right? Or mm-hmm. the beef butter, bacon, eggs yeah. challenge yeah. now. Yeah. Like, I think there are, there's value in all of those things, but a lot of it comes down to knowing your body and works what works well for you. I tried to do intermittent fasting for a while, which most of the time I did okay. But other times I'm like, if I don't eat something. Somebody is not going to make it. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry and I'm not being very kind. Um, and so just knowing I function better 
not hungry when I'm trying to teach my eight kids math. Like, yeah. Yep. You yep. know, and so knowing yep. my situation um, and, and working well with that. And again, I think that going back to accountability helps, you know, where we can say, this is what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And then yeah, maybe yeah. there's some conversation about, oh, there's a better way, or you could try this, or maybe have you thought about that? But yeah. understanding that it's a very personal thing and not one size fits all when it comes yeah. to changing our habits. Yeah. I was going to say, that's one of the things I appreciate too, about like my conversation with you. And then, like I said, I have a couple other friends that I talk to and it's like the troubleshooting that mm-hmm. really helped, you know, because it's like, well, I, I'm not sure uh, about this thing or I'm not sure about that thing. And then it's like just someone else's perspective yeah. on it uh, is definitely helpful. And I, the whole thing with the fasting, it, it kind of makes me upset because I see people asking about that too, where it's like, do I have to fast? And it's like, I think fasting is something you should fall into naturally. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you, if you are hardcore wanting to try it, go ahead and try it, whatever. To me, it's like, you do you with this. But the fasting, I find like people are mad, like thinking about, I, I would be mad too. You know, don't tell me I can't eat. You know, I'm going to, it's like you, I homeschooling the kids. We're going to have a problem if I'm hungry. Right. right. But that's the thing. It's like, there's, so I know Aaron, sometimes he'll have like days where he just eats like the one meal a day, but it's not like he's like saying, oh, I can only have one meal. It's like, I wasn't really hungry. Right. So I find like when people fall into it naturally, they have a much better attitude about it mm-hmm. rather than. I'm fasting so that I can lose weight. Yeah. That, that would make me mad. Yeah. Or is it time yet? Cause I'm, is it time? Cause I need to yes. use time now. Okay. Yep. Everybody get away. Yep. It's time. <laughs> yeah. Don't interrupt me either. Ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> I write there with you. I know. In the beginning, I tried it too. And it knew no, not for me. You don't want to see me angry. You know, and one thing that I have loved to see, and this may sound like a shameless plug and I don't mean it to, but when people mm-hmm. get on in the comments section and share, like, I've been doing this for 20 days and I feel amazing, or I've been doing this yeah. for an hour long, like that's accountability in and of itself too, because you're putting yes. it out there for the world to see and hopefully mm-hmm. getting some encouragement from it. And people are responding, whatever else, but I love reading those stories. It's like, Oh yeah. You know what? Mm-hmm. I, I haven't been doing this so long that I've forgotten what it mm-hmm. feels like in my before, but yeah. hearing those stories are very motivating. Yeah. It's like you go back and you're like, that's right. That's something that I struggled with in the past. Praise God, I overcame it, but dang it, here's the next thing. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that, I mean, to me, that has just been really encouraging too, is just getting to read other yeah. people's stories and mm-hmm. hopefully, you know, being able to encourage them and seeing Aaron leave comments and responses yeah. and just like, wow, that is awesome. Like, keep coming back and telling us how things are going. Like, that's really yeah. cool. Well, I am thankful for your friendship and the accountability and glad that you were able to sit here and chat with me tonight about it. But definitely, you know, as an encouragement to people out there, for me, knowing that I get stuck in my own head sometimes about, you know, I'm almost 40 years old, I should be able to eat what I want, or why can't I make my own decisions? Or why am I even wrestling with this so much when I know it's something that's not going to make me feel good? Having somebody... Mm -hmm to bounce those things off of and to say, Hey, I am struggling with this right now. Like, ah, has just been so helpful for me. Same, same. It's definitely great. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So find your person, figure out who it is, somebody in your life that you can send the message, even if they don't completely understand, um, or somebody online, you mentioned a couple of really good Facebook groups. Maybe we can try and put those down in the description box, but just, Places where you can find somebody like-minded that will help yeah. spur you on because I think it's so necessary. Super necessary. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, yay. Well, thank you again for hanging out tonight. I'm so excited we got to sit and chat. Me too. This was fun. Yay. It was fun. We should do this more often. Yes. <laughs> just the ladies. <laughs> huh? I said what just the ladies. Yes. We should do our own live. Yeah, Ooh, that would be fun. Yeah. Channel takeover. <laughs> <laughs> the Kill Me Wife. Well, that's my handle. If I comment on stuff, it's the Kill Me Wife. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yep.
All right, well, it's good to see you, and I will talk to you probably later on tonight. So. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, i got to send you my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. Thanks, you too. Bye. Bye.